Hi everyone, it's me Twyla. I am here in my garden on the Canadian prairies and I'm in the middle of a springtime chore. I am prepping my gladiola corms for uh, planting this season. And so I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm peeling this outside layer so that they can be planted and grow unencumbered into beautiful flowers for this year. So here in Alberta, where I live, we're in the midst of some unseasonably warm weather. And uh, it's really quite something because normally on the Victoria Day long weekend, uh, you know, I'm busy, I'm doing chores, but there's not too much going on in my garden just yet. I have some things popping up and a little bit of potential of things to come. But my goodness, this year, things are happening all around me. There's lots of blooming and lots of things that I know are going to put on a big show this year. Muscari bulbs. They put on such a good show in my yard every year. I'm so uh, pleased every time uh, I see them appear and this year is no exception and I have found that especially in the early evening when I'm out in the garden just you know taking things in the very light colored ones are almost luminescent and it's so beautiful. I have some new additions uh, to my to my garden from last year that I'm just really really pleased with. They were excellent choices. Uh, one of them is the Mukdinia um, crimson fan. Hopefully I said that right. And also I got some pulmonaria or lungwort that is doing really really well. Uh, so I'm very very pleased to have added them to the mix. Also. Jillian and I were very busy planting some tulip bulbs last fall and they have all come up and they're all doing really, really well. So I'm so thrilled that she came over and spent some time with me and that we made the decision to plant them just a little bit more shallowly than I have done in the past. And I think that's been the ticket for me, that plants are very strong and very straight and there's no flopping happening. For me, and I think for many of us who garden in, in climates where the growing season is quite short, the spring display is something that we always look forward to, but we are just so, so busy with all the chores we have to do. The yard cleanup, the soil prep, the moving of things, the uh, everything that we have to do, it has to happen so quickly just to maximize our time. And that combined with just life, right? Like families and work and all that stuff. Time is precious and sometimes, I know for myself, I find that even if I want to, I can't take in the beauty of the spring garden. So I'm really trying to make an effort to do that, to find moments in little chores like this one, where I get to sit, slow my breathing down, and just really observe everything that's happening around me. And I hope that all of you find time to do the same. I will be back with more videos soon. If you're enjoying what you see, do feel free to click subscribe and you'll get a notification when I post something new. Otherwise, we shall see you soon. Uh, wish you all much success in your gardening and hope you have time to stop and take it all in. Thanks so much. Bye for now.